Drought, famine and poverty continue to swallow up the Karimojong community as World Food Programme in partnership with Sasakawa Africa Association team up to increase food security and household incomes. Along this line, the youths of Karimoja have been repackaged to benefit from the agriculture value chain. If you don't check the quality of the material, what happens? You end up losing out in business. There is a lot of theft in business. Many youth in Uganda have remained unemployed for fear of starting up their own businesses. According to a senior business consultant, Okelo Fred Okot, this has hindered them from acquiring loans due to the poor spending culture. And one of the principles is improve on your spending culture. As a youth, you should know what is really relevant for you. As a youth, you should be guided by knowing that I should not spend any haoli. The second principle is improving on your saving culture. Don't spend, then save. Save, then spend. The last guiding principle for youth all over the economy, we encourage them to improve on their investment culture. Youth from Karamoja sub-region have trained in skills that will help them improve opportunities along the agriculture value chain facilitated by Sasakawa Africa Association in Moroto District. Sasakawa Africa Association Deputy Country Director Joseph Bemba outlines the benefits of youth from the agribusiness youth clinics. So we are trying to demonstrate to the youth that when we say and request them to participate in agriculture, we do not necessarily want them to own land. But we are looking at opportunities through which they can actively participate, either as a market bulk uh, buy purchase of inputs, whether as a private service providers, say for sharing or transportation of inputs, whether as agro-processors, just as the way we have seen today, Nabila took district production and marketing officer Simon Loput while awarding a check worth 1 million Uganda shillings to the best youth business pitcher in the agribusiness pitching competition expressed gratitude to Sasakawa Africa Association for the interventions to reduce on post harvest losses and linking the smallholder farmers in the region to markets he says this is to improve the livelihoods of the rural Karimojong and linking smallholder farmers to the market. This has been lacking. We need to break that barrier of consumption to go to the market. The commercial officer Karinga District, Ngole Peter Morris, appreciated the role played by partners in awakening the youth towards agribusiness. He says many of the young people in Karinga district have been excited by the approaches and this will reduce unemployment figures in the region. Yes, uh, first of all I would like to thank the Sasakawa for really showing us that uh, we need to train these youth in various uh, entrepreneurship skills and uh, we also need to, 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 to make our youth think or to, to change from the habit that uh, farming is only for peasants. A grain dealer Joyce Angela from Nakapiripirit and Simon Lokung, a beekeeper from Karenga district, managed to win the one million prize each. I am a produce dealer and I majorly concentrate in maize. So I am going to, to use this money for hiding the stock I had before. I am going to use it for buying the taplins, which can, I will use for, for drying my maize. I'm going to, keep, I'm going to improve my beekeeping project by uh, are buying more beehives to add uh, to the one I am using right now. With youth discovering the vast opportunities along the agriculture value chain, coupled with interventions that link the farmers to markets, Karamoja region is set to develop. Douglas Setumba compiled this report.